Hey gang, in this video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 certifications you should get in 2024, the jobs you can get with those certs and what they pay. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 10 is the Google Cloud Professional Architect certification. With this certification, you can get a couple different jobs. You can become a cloud architect, a cloud solutions architect, or even a cloud consultant and a bunch more jobs. Now let's talk about the money. People with this certification usually make around $140,000 to $180,000 a year. Coming in at number nine is gonna be CISSP. Now this is one of those ones that is super popular, everybody wants it, everybody loves it, but there's a caveat. If you don't know what caveat means, shame on you, go look it up, but I just wanna give you guys just a bit of advice. CISSP is not a beginner certification. It is not a certification that you can just get. It's super, super, super hard, and you need years and years and years of experience to get this certification. Good news is you can get a bunch of different jobs with this certification. You become a chief security information officer, a security analyst, and a bunch of other jobs. But remember, if you don't take anything away from this video, remember this is not a beginner certification. Let's talk about the money. So people that have CISSP can make upwards of 200K if not more. Now coming in number eight is another cloud certification. Let's talk about the AWS Cloud Architect. With this certification, you become an AWS Solutions Architect, a cloud architect, and also a cloud consultant, just to name a few. Hey, wait a minute, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Rob from itmeshkey.com, and I help people just like you get into rewarding tech careers. I got some free training for you. Go to the first link in the description, click that link, and it's about a 30 minute video that goes over everything that we do, how we can help you, and how we have helped other students break into rewarding tech careers. If that sound like it's something that's interesting to you, if it sound like you're ready to stop being a police officer, being in the military, being a nurse, being in healthcare, um, doing Uber, whatever you're doing, right? Whether you got a degree, don't got a degree, got experience, don't got experience, we can help you let's get back to the video so coming in number seven is going to be a project management certification called pmp so in tech project management is super important and a lot of project managers make the big bucks pro tip if you are a project manager for a it related project or a tech related project make sure you got some technical experience because those tech guys, the people that are underneath you that you're supposed to manage, they will take advantage of your ass. Rob, what you mean? Long story short, it's almost impossible for you to lead somebody and you have no idea what their job is, you have no idea what they're supposed to do, you have no idea what the result is that they're supposed to be creating. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. PMP, project management professional, you can become a project manager, right? It actually give you the credentials, all other stuff, and it's a pretty piece of paper that can get you a lot of money. The average salary for a PMP professional is right around six figures. Coming in at number six is gonna be a cybersecurity certification called CEH, or Certified Ethical Hacker. If you have CEH, you can get jobs such as ethical hacker, security engineer, security analyst, just to name a few. Now, if you get CEH, the average salary for somebody that has CEH is right around 110 to $120,000 a year. Since we're talking about cybersecurity, coming in at number five is gonna be Security Plus. This certification is a mid-level certification for people that are looking to get into cybersecurity. With Security Plus, you can become a security analyst, a security engineer, a security consultant, a network engineer, just to name a Few. Now, unlike the other certifications, this isn't necessarily a six-figure certification alone. Most people that have Security Plus make around eighty to ninety thousand dollars a year. Hey, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Security Plus is one of the certifications that you get in the Zero to IT Hero program. Link in the description. So, coming in at number four is a Cisco certification, the CCNP covering security. With this certification, you become a, a network security engineer, a network analyst, and a network administrator. Now, if you had a certification, most likely you're making between a hundred to $110,000 a year. Coming in number three is a certified information security manager. So with CISM, you can become an IT risk manager, be in risk management, and even become a security analyst. If you get this certification, most people that had a certification make around $130,000 to $140,000 a year. Next, we're gonna talk about certified information systems Audit. With this certification, you get a couple jobs, mostly in 
auditing, making sure that everybody is doing what they need to do. Most people with this certification are making around $120,000 to $130,000 a year. Before we get into the next certification, let me know in the comments which certification that you're working on right now, right now. Last but not least is going to be OSC. So our offensive security certification. With this certification, you can become a penetration tester, security consultant, or security engineer. People that hold the certification get anywhere in between $100,000 to $135,000 a year. What's understood don't have to be said, but I don't know if you are understanding anything I'm saying because I can't fucking see you. So I'm going to say it anyway. These salary expectations are, one, people that have multiple certifications, two, people that have experience, and three, people that have put the work in. Most likely your first tech role is not going to be six figures, but it will be a lot more money than you can make in any other industry. Long story short, if you want to make six figures in tech, got to have certifications, got to have connections, and got to have a clear roadmap. Think about this. The average person never, ever, ever, ever makes six figures. So never be under the impression that, oh, this is the top 10 certifications. I can just go get one of these. Fuck no. You're going to have to put in a lot of work. A lot of hours, sacrifice, do the things that are uncomfortable and do the things that nobody else is doing. And here's the truth. You ready? These certifications, you ain't gonna be able to get these shits by watching free YouTube videos. Six figures a year, you ain't gonna be able to get that shit by just joining a Facebook group. Getting a rewarding career and doing something that you love. You can't do this shit by yourself. So at a minimum, make sure that you hit the link in the description, watch that free training. And if it sounds like what we do aligns with what you need, make sure that you fill out an application. Please, I beg you, if it's not for you, do not apply. Do not get on the calendar. We do not accept everybody. And if you end up getting on the phone with me specifically, um, I would much rather you be ready to go, not have any excuses, pretty much sign on dotted line. Let's get this shit done. Oh, one last thing. You don't need a degree. You just need master IT.